Hi you guys, it's Marcy Sauter, the Rusty Blonde. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm super excited to be coming on and talking to you guys about productivity for kids. I think as, as us being mothers, aunts, uncles, grandmas, grandpas, whoever we are, if we have children in our lives, we all need a break. We all need to be able to sit back and relax and not have to worry about all of the clutter, all of the dust, and anything like that. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to keep your kids motivated and on track and set up a daily routine so that you can sit back and relax for a bit. Okay, so what do I mean by little routines? Well, you know, I can go back and remember from the time I had Blake and from the time he could walk, I had him helping me do whatever it is I was doing, whether it was cooking or doing the dishes or loading up laundry. If I was wiping something down, he was my little helper and I could just hand him a rag and he would go right next to me and just follow me what I was doing. When he was, I, I would say about three, I gave him little chores like he would help us feed the dogs. He would help me wipe the dining room table, the chairs, things like that. Um, if he saw me with the broom, I would have him come help me and I would show him how to use the broom, things like that. So what I did from a very young age, I set up a picture chore chart so that he could look at the picture and see exactly what he needed to be doing. So as most children in our lives, they all have these little things they're attached to. Well, my son was attached to a million burpees. Um, they were everywhere all the time. His bed was covered in them. Well, I just taught him how to push them aside and just started teaching him how to pull his blanket up just to cover up the mess. So I had a picture on his chart of a bed that was made. So he knew that when he woke up, he needed to make his bed. Same with a picture of a toothbrush and toothpaste. He saw that and recognized that he needed to go brush his teeth. So when you're dealing with toddlers, you guys, it can start from the time they can walk. You can teach them that when they pull a toy out, you put it in their little hands and you walk them, you do this with them, you walk them and show them where it goes in the bin. So that they learn, they pull something out, they can just as easily put it back. And that is one way to start your kids early on little routines and what to do. So, I have been doing this, like I said, from the time Blake was probably three, is my guess. You start with morning routines. So, us as adults, what do we do as morning routines? Well, my morning routine is, I get up, my feet hit the floor, and I make my bed. Before I even walk away, I make my bed. Then I go straight to the restroom, I use the restroom, and then I go into brushing my teeth, washing my face. So now from the minute I've woken up, in five minutes I have made my bed, I have gone potty, I have brushed my teeth and washed my face, okay? From then on, I come out of my room, I make my cup of coffee, and I make sure my kids are doing their stuff that they're supposed to be doing, and then I go back in my bedroom, I get dressed, and finish up my morning, doing my hair, my makeup, and everything. That way, by the time I come out to the kitchen, my kids are coming out as well. I'm gonna go over Blake and Olivia's schedule. We just modified these because they're doing virtual school at home, and this is the third day of doing this new schedule, and it's been awesome. So these are their, ch their charts that I've made them I've been using this style chart for many, many years. I just update it whether it's for summer, 
whether it's for in school or right now we're dealing with corona and they are doing school at home so they wake up and they start by making their bed they get dressed put on deodorant they go potty they brush their teeth they wash their face and they put on sunscreen after that they do their hair now with olivia i follow um the fly lady system well i don't follow it entirely i kind of took her system and modified it to what i'm able to commit to but one thing that she teaches is before you ever leave your room you wake up you make your bed you get dressed you go to the bathroom you put yourself together from head to toe even shoes and then before you ever leave you get something and you wipe down your sink and your toilet and the mirror if it has spots on it. And you do that every day and it makes it to where your bathroom is always nice and tidy. If anyone were to come over unexpected, you wouldn't have to worry about a thing. Well, I do that in my bedroom. That's part of my morning routine. But I thought, you know what? Why can't Livy's responsible for the hall bathroom? And it's so funny because she is super excited to learn how to scrub a tub this weekend. I'm like, oh my God, this is great. That is like every mom's dream, right? When their child is excited to learn how to clean something. So I incorporated this into Olivia's morning routine and it's been awesome. Like the bathroom's always nice and tidy and I don't have to worry about it if someone pops over and needs to use the restroom. So after she does her hair, while she's in the bathroom, she, I, I keep baby wipes in there just for this reason or hand sanitizing wipes, whatever she needs. And she wipes down the, the sink and then she gets a sanitizing wipe and wipes down the toilet every morning. That way I know it's clean all of the time. Next, we all kind of come out here and we conjugate, con blah, blah, blah. we come to the kitchen and we get breakfast and then the other, things she is responsible for in the morning is she has to go outside and change the dog's water bowl. And we have inside dogs, but they drink a lot. So I leave their bucket of water outside and she's responsible for keeping it nice and clean with fresh cold water. The other thing she does every morning is she unloads the dishes and then she checks the recycle three times a week and takes it out if it's full. And then before school even starts, her and Blake go for a 15 minute or 20 minute, whether it's bike ride or walk. Um, we had been going with them in the morning, but we had the bright idea of racing our kids one day. Yeah, let's just say my husband had a fall and he's now going to have an MRI on his knee. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing, I'm just saying that's what happened with that. So aside from that, that is Olivia's morning routine. Now I'm gonna go over Blake's. So Blake, he has always been an early riser, like super excited to start his day. So he gets up, he makes his bed, he gets dressed, he puts on deodorant, he goes in the bathroom and he does all of his stuff. He goes potty, brushes his teeth, does his hair, wash his face. Um, I just have to battle him about sunscreen. But um, he even does his hair all nice and cute, very, very charming. But um, then he comes out for breakfast. He is responsible for the kitchen trash and he is responsible for feeding the dogs and giving them, uh, one of our dogs has, um, what's it called? Um, valley fever, so he's on daily medication right now. So he is in charge of doing that. And then he is responsible for doing the house garbage um, once or twice a week. He'll check that. So, and then he does his 15 or 20 minute exercise with Olivia. And he is the reason she is doing it is because for school, for PE, he has to do what's called the 15 minute mile. And so it gives them an opportunity to work out together and incorporate that into their daily lives, which is a great habit to form for kids, for all of us. I am not a good example of exercise, but I want my kids 
to know that it's important and to do that as necessary. So from that point on, then I have two zones in my house and I learned about zone cleaning through the fly lady, which I bought her digital download. So I'm going to link that down below because I read that book in like a day and a half because I was just infatuated with it. I really liked the tips. I liked her logic behind it and the whole system. It was just really in informative <laughs> is the word. And I kind of loved it and created a whole binder and I can do that in another video. But my point is, is I'm like, okay, zones, I like that. Well, since I've been doing videos all the time, it's exhausting trying to tidy up a space every time I need to pull my camera out and film something. So I created zones. I have zone one and zone two, and I can show you really quick what that looks like. This is a map of my house. Yes, I drew a map of my house and color coordinated it, color coded it. But um, anyways, so, you walk in my front door here, and this is all pink. You walk in the front door, and my living room is right there. So that is what I created for zone one, my entryway and the living room. Zone two is our dining room here, which I'm in now, the coffee bar, and then I included my kitchen island in zone two. So what I do, is they are responsible for a zone each day. And what I did is I just alternated the zones each day. So it's covered. After they do their morning routine, before school ever starts, they go to their zone. They straighten up the couch, they tidy it up, and they get the Swiffer out and they go and Swift all of the furniture. If there are things lying around, they take that and they put it in the room to the person that item belongs. So if I have my sunglasses out, they will go and put it on my bed. If, if Livy has her shoes out, they, Blake will go and put that in Livy's room. And that way, the main section of my house is nice and tidy all of the time. And you guys, it works. I tell you, if you make charts, you give your kids rewards, whether it's stickers or a, an ice cream on Friday or whatever it is, kids are motivated and will be driven to do what you need them to do. And that is how I make it fun. I simply print it off the chart, put it in a sleeve protector and gave them a whiteboard marker and every day they come and they mark off what they've done and when so that they can keep track and I am not constantly gnawing at them to get it done. I don't even, I just have to ask them if they've done their stuff, I make sure they're doing it and it's been awesome. Now, then my kids have their in school time which is about from eight to three and then they get two hours of free time and this includes one hour of electronics. After that, at 5 p.m., we have, it's, I have it, help mumsy, as Blake calls me, but help mom for 15 minutes. And that's basically, they're going to go in their zones and get it all nice and tidy again before dad gets home and before we sit down for dinner. Uh, the other thing I do is we always have family dinner together, always. So, that is really nice because then we find out how each other's day went. Um, we figure out if they need help with homework or anything. It's great. We love it. I've, I was raised having family dinner, so that was really important to me because that time is precious and it's family time. It's great. And I want to show my kids that it's important to me. So we do it. We love it. And it's great. But then after dinner, they go shower and then it's family time until 8.25 in the evening. And then at 8.25, they go potty, they brush their teeth and they get out their book and their math facts and they do reading and math facts until it's time for bed. So that is our daily routine. 
and you guys it works it's awesome it's been amazing and I tell you what my kids are motivated um, there are different types of responsibilities and I have jobs for my kids that they get rewarded for and we do that commission like I have hired them to do work and every Sunday we budget and so they get paid for the work they have done and then we have responsibilities as members as members of the family that we all have to participate in and that is the different zones that is part of that um, putting away their laundry that is just part of being in this family like you don't get paid to do the laundry you don't get paid to pick up after yourself and to keep your rooms clean but I have hired them for little jobs that they are responsible for and that is what they get paid for and we call it commission not allowance it is commission they only get paid for the work they do and I can do a whole other video on that too budgeting and how we do the commission for our kids but for today I'm just gonna tell you, you incorporate morning routines for your kids, you incorporate some sort of chart system for them to follow along with, and then you reward them, whether it's with stickers or an ice cream, or you give them a bonus because they did it for five days in a row without complaining, you're gonna give them an extra dollar come payday because they were had gone above and beyond, or if they do something extra, all of those little things count. So I'm telling you guys, you incorporate this morning routines into your daily routine and it will give you a chance to relax um, for a bit. As I said, we, we started this a while ago. I've always incorporated charts and chores for my kids. They've always liked it so and I've always made it fun another thing I've done is I actually went to Michael's and got a wooden treasure chest and now they use it to play but when they were little I had a wooden treasure chest and I would take them to the store and they would pick out little knickknacks you know and I'm the dollar store whatever I would have candy bars in there packs of gum anything and on Fridays if they did all of their stuff and everything was marked off on their chart they got to go to the treasure box and that was a lot of fun too because they were super motivated and it shows them it teaches them that to value work that you get to work and then you get rewarded and you get to work and you get to earn money or you work and you get to do this and be responsible and things like that so it is very rewarding for us as parents to see our children work like that and be happy and excited about it. So I hope this helps you out. I hope it motivates you guys to try some of this with your kids, with your family. I promise it'll work. You just have to give it some time. 21 days does form a habit, so give it 21 days of trying over and over before you quit, and I promise it'll work. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.